And then I also do this. I'm going to give each of you guys um, little pieces of a timeline. And it's going to be your job to, I've already got the dates. You're going to try to figure out which pictures go with what dates. Right? And what about 2000, 2009? Not much. Yeah, maybe that's kind of where you guys come in, right? That's 2009 is you. So part of, at the end of today, when you go home and you take pictures, part of what you guys are going to be taking pictures of is what you think goes in that 2009 spot. Um, I do not like this photo because lots of people have died here and it's a very high crash rate zone. Um, I relate this to my life because I drive through here quite a bit, going places. Um, I think the town of Comox should do something about it because if people have died, I think it has to change. And I think they maybe should put a roundabout because there was a roundabout at my old house and it really slowed the traffic down. Uh, this is important because um, I know lots of people go to Home Depot and I don't want to see any more people crash and die in this intersection. Thank you. Um, I'm Anna Gummer and this is Goose Spit Beach. And it relates to my life because I really like to go there because it's a fun place to go and there's a lot of wildlife. And I'm worried that it'll get polluted and eventually there won't be much beach left. And it's important because it's filled with wildlife and it's part of our history because it's been there a really long time and and it's fun to have campfires there and stuff. So. And do you go to that beach a lot? Because you yeah. wrote about your beach in, in the outline that you did, right? You wrote um, that beach. Yeah, yeah. So, so what, what kinds of things do you do there? Do you, um, you can have campfires and you can build little forts and you can climb the logs and you can swim and stuff. That's great. Thank you for sharing that. Well, my name's Chase Proctor, and um, this photo here is Cape Lazo, but it still has nothing to do with it, kind of. I want to talk about the district configuration of K to 7 and 8 to 12, because I don't think that's very fair to all the students which want the high school and the electives and everything, but they have to get held back another year. And all the high school students who have to be with the grade 8s and that would be suck for them. And the grade sevens who have to be at the grade fours. And I don't think that's fair either for us. And I think it should go back to elementaries and um, middle schools and high schools. I can remember a lot of my memories in my old house. Because my family and I lived there for so many years, it's like a memory keeper. It getting teared down and losing all my memories. Because history is important to many people, and my old house is history to me. My name is Jack, and um, this is a photo of the skate park in Comox. And how it relates to my life is that I usually go skateboarding there every weekend. And um, there's a lot of graffiti in this park and vandalism, which is harmful to a lot of people. And it's important because, well, it's a really fun thing to do, but there's a lot of graffiti there. This is a picture of Martine's Bistro. I think this represents one of the many absolutely awesomely tasty good food in restaurants in Comox, because there's lots of them. Um, I like Martine's because they have really good ribs. And it's a friendly place because they have good staff and the manager sometimes comes out and like talks to you. And he's a nice guy. Um, it's important to me because I think eating good food is a good part of a healthy lifestyle. Um, yeah. Okay. My name is Anita Fisher. <laughs> um, what I see in this photo is a school. Um, 
This photo relates to my life because I'm there most of the week. And what I want to do about it is make sure that no more schools close because they're getting too crammed and you're not getting a good education. And what I'm worried about is um, <laughs> there not being enough teachers to teach the students and the classes being overfilled. Why it's important is because if we don't have a good education, then we won't get a good job and we won't have very much stuff. Yeah. This photo you see right here is part of a point blank field in, on Anderton Road. It is very um, relative to my life because I go there every weekend and I spend most of my life there. Um, I hope they don't change the field because of all the other fields that would be opening in the years because that one's my favorite. I think it would. Um, yeah. My name's Alec and I took a picture of Mr. Towelhead and this photo relates to my life because, well, my brother beats me up quite a bit, so it's pretty relative. And what do I want to do about it? Well, I think I need to grow a little bit so one day I can get some revenge. And it's important because, of course, family members are important. And they, well, <laughs> are an important part of your life. And they help you live. That's about it. Hi, I'm Lyric. Um, in this photo, it's the beach, um, and it's Balmoral Beach, and I go there a lot because it's really cool. And um, this photo relates to my life because I can go there whenever I kind of want and whenever I want to get away. And um, I really don't want it to be like polluted and stuff. And I'm worried that people will finally just like pollute it so much that it'll just be gone. And it's really important because it's really youth friendly and like people at any age can just come and just hang out at the beach. So, yeah. That's great. Thanks. Uh, I'm Trenton and I took a picture of Vancouver Island when I was traveling to Vancouver over the weekend on the ferry. And um, in the photo you see Vancouver Island and all its wildlife and the mountains and stuff. And I could feel like the breeze in my face on the ferry, and it looked really nice. And um, the photo relates to my life because we live on this island, and it's like a beautiful place, and um, it has lots of trees and animals, like birds and deer and stuff. And um, I would like to keep it this way, f um, and like keep it not polluted and all beautiful like it is. And um, I'm worried that it might change because of the global warming and stuff. And it is important to me because we live on this beautiful island and it's um, really nice and there's lots of places you can go and have fun. And I would just like it to keep it this way. And bye. <laughs> yeah.